Squad, welcome back to the channel. So I was actually getting ready to go out to Ikea to buy a whole bunch of new furniture and then all of a sudden, inspiration just hit me. It just hit me. Now before we get into this video, if you just stumbled on this channel, let me take a quick second to introduce myself. My name's Joanna, you can call me Yo. I make videos on fitness, nutrition, supplements, and every now and then I like to throw in a vlog because you got a spice of life, you know what I mean? Now before we get into this video, <laughs> you're probably reading the title and like thinking, what? What's this girl gonna say? This girl has lost her mind. Because I know I have a lot of people on my channel who are avid gym goers, avid lifters, but I also have a lot of people who watch my videos who are completely new to the health and fitness world, who are trying to find their way. And I wanted to give you my little bit of advice when it comes to the diet program. But before I reveal my top piece of advice, question of the day. Like I said, I have people from all different walks of life who watch my channel. Um, so I want to hear from you. If you are an avid gym goer, if you've been in the health industry for a while, what is your number one tip for someone who's starting a journey in health and fitness? Please comment below because I do have people from all different walks of life and I know I have a lot of people who watch my videos who have been in the fitness industry for a long time. So please leave your comment below so that other people can see those comments and hopefully it inspires them in their journey in health. So let's get started with this video. I am going to share the number one, the only diet that you need to succeed in the nutrition, health, fitness, whatever you want to call it, world in your journey. Okay, you ready for this? You sure you can handle this? Pretty big secret that I'm revealing here. All right guys, the only diet that you need to succeed with your nutrition is, ready? The common sense diet. Now I know what you're thinking. This girl had me click this video for that. Okay, let me take a second to explain myself before we go any further, okay? Um, now, first of all, I want you guys to understand I have been where you are. If you're just starting your fitness journey, your journey in health, I have been there, okay? I have been with five personal trainers, with two nutritionists, I have struggled with my weight, my nutrition, my fitness, literally since I was 12 years old. I've done everything from um, like Zumba, to Tai Bo, to lifting in the gym, to crazy amounts of yoga. I have, trust me, I have done it all. So I know what it feels like and I know what it's like to struggle with your weight and to look at food in a healthy way. But the number one thing that I have learned is we all know what's good for us and we all know what's bad for us. You know, you guys, you could you could do the ketogenic diet, you could do the paleo diet, you could do um, macro count, you could do all of that and with every single diet program out there, I promise you, you will lose weight. You will. Because all these programs have one thing in common and it's really simple. I'm gonna break down what it is right now. All of these programs have you increase your protein, have you eat more veggies, and you're going to get your energy either from fats or from carbs. Now, I'm not bashing any of these diets at all, yo. If you wanna do one of these diets, go for it, totally. I support you. Whatever is gonna help your fitness journey, I support you. But I want you guys to understand that you don't need to overcomplicate your nutrition. And I'm not trying to bash anybody who does macro counting or you know is on a calorie deficit at all, because that definitely does work, and I do that myself. But for the average person, who's just trying to live a healthier lifestyle, who's just dabbling their toe into the world of health and nutrition, you don't need to overcomplicate this. And I've said this in so many videos, the simplest thing that you can do for yourself is doing common sense things that you know you can change. Unless you're in the fitness industry and you're a fitness model or you're competing or you're, you're a leader in the industry like a personal trainer, then I can totally understand why you have to be so strict with your nutrition. But if you're just your common average day, you know, stay at home mom, or if you're a dad who's trying to get into new nutrition, or if you're a young student who's just trying to eat a little bit healthier, you don't need to do all these crazy diets. It's really simple. Cut out the things that you know are bad for you and eat more of the things that you know are good for you. Some simple changes, soda, juices. Guys, this is full of sugar. And even if you're having diet soda, 
This is full of sodium, which is going to retain water, and it also has aspartame, which is really bad for you and still triggers that chemical response. Same as sugar, aspartame triggers the same chemicals in your brain. So you still are going to get all those cravings. A simple switch out, water. And then you can flavor your water. Water with lemon, water with strawberries and blueberries, water with lemon and cucumbers and mint. There's The combinations are endless. It's a really simple change. When you're first jogging, your new fitness program, your new regimen, just keep it simple. Well, the simpler you are with the nutrition, you know, the weight will just come off naturally. Switch out those things that you know, like you know that pizza, you know that ice cream, you know those chips, you know those dips, you know, like there's things you know that are not good for you. Switch that stuff out for some healthier changes and you will instantly start to see weight come off naturally. Little changes like that are going to make a big difference in the big grand scheme of things because it's those little things that you do every day that's going to lead to your fitness goals over a month, over two months, over three months, over a year. You know? You feel me? You get me? You got what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. If you watched the whole thing, you like my message here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell so you know when my videos come out. Did you like my video? Did I give the best advice in the world? Yeah? Oh, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. You're so cute. So for me and my puppers, I say have a beautiful day. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Clearly she loved my video. So, for me and my puppers, I say have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!